Hello, everyone, and welcome to another edition of Mets Musings. I know there's been a gap in time, but we were waiting for this news to happen, and it's coming across the wires today. The Craig Council is becoming the next manager of the Chicago Cubs. Huh? Didn't see that coming. Didn't even know David Ross was fired. But apparently, Council is going to the Cubs as their next manager, which opens the door, and the Mets are going to hire. Now, this is all from sources. Carlos Mendoza, the Yankees bench coach, a former Met, had a cup of coffee with the team, and uh, he will be the next manager. Mendoza is 43 years old, so we're getting some uh, shot of youth in to the uh, manager's job and uh, we'll see what happens this is a total shock i mean uh you know the speculation the other day over the weekend was that it was going to be council or mendoza and uh we didn't know who after that or what would have happened if mendoza would have took another job or council would have took another job if they both took other jobs, where would the Mets be? There was talk about Mark Coetze and uh, other candidates, but the top two were Council and Mendoza. And now this news breaks today from uh, Ken Rosenthal that it's not going to be Council. Council is going to the Cubbies. Didn't see that one coming at all. And that leaves Mendoza going to the Mets. Now, Mendoza was also rumored to be up for the Guardians job, but they hired Stephen Volk today. So that took that job out of the running. He did not interview, as far as we know, uh, for the Angels or the Astros or uh, the Padres job, the open jobs remaining. Um, so. Uh, it's fascinating that all of a sudden this council and the Cubs thing came up and he took it. I guess he still, he wanted to stay in the Midwest. Obviously uh, it is a rival of the Brewers. So that'll be an interesting thing, how he'll be treated in Wisconsin now, but you know, the bottom line is Craig council. Uh, goodbye, Craig council. Hello, Carlos Mendoza. So the Mets will uh, probably have an announcement in the next couple of days with the general manager meetings starting today. Maybe it waits until uh, next week. My guess is they will put out some sort of announcement and then have the formal press conference uh, with Mendoza next week at uh, City Field, but that's all to be determined. So that's the big news. Carlos Mendoza to be the next manager of the New York Mets. And uh, now we go about a coaching staff. Some guys are still got a contract. Some do not. Uh, I believe Wayne Kirby and Joey Cora do not have contracts. So we'll see what happens with them. Uh, Jeremy Hefner has a contract, but there have been interest in Jeremy Hefner. And so we'll see uh, what happens along that. Many of the clubs uh, have talked to the Mets and asked for permission, at least one club, about his availability. Um, and uh, the Mets have not granted it specifically, but have been told that Hefner is waiting to see if he fits in the Mets' plans before deciding on any other open position. So uh, he could be gone as well. But, uh, you know, maybe that's okay. Mendoza gets to pick his own staff. and Or Mendoza and Stearns gets to pick the, st the staff that they want to have. So that's the breaking news uh, as far as uh, 
we know Carlos Mendoza to be the next Mets manager. In other news, the Mets made roster moves when they placed six players in outright waivers to uh, continue their 40-man roster configuration. The six are right-handed pitchers Peyton Battenfield, John Curtis, Elsior Hernandez, Bryce Montes de Oca, and Denny Reyes, and outfielder Tim LaCastro. Uh, Curtis Hernandez, Reyes, and LoCastro can all elect free agency if they clear waivers. Uh, and this comes after a couple of weeks ago when the Mets put Rafael Ortega, Danny Mendick, Vinny Natoli, Michael Perez, Jonathan Reyes, and Anthony Kay on waivers. The first five players there cleared waivers and became free agents while Kay was claimed by the Oakland A's. The Mets also claimed right-handed pitcher Penn Murphy off waivers from the Seattle Mariners. And veteran right-handed Carlos Carrasco officially became a free agent last Thursday. So the early maneuvering puts the Mets 40-man roster currently at 33. And that would mean that they have uh, seven slots open for either trades, free agent signing, or whatnot. Uh, Trelly team option at six and a half million, and and Adam Adovino player option at six point seven million are both likely to stay match for the twenty twenty three season. They have on Monday until decide on their options, and uh, we do have not heard anything yet on them. Coonrod, Got, Brigham, and Smith are among the Mets' non tender candidates. Omar Navarez exercised his $7 million player option for 2024. Uh, and Vogelbeck is another one that uh, could be non-tended. He was non-tended by David Stearns in Milwaukee. And there's uh, certainly a chance he does it again. Vogelbeck would be projected to make $2.6 million next year. And frankly, I don't think he's worth it. Uh, Kevin Parada and JT Schwartz minor league prospects were selected to represent the Mets at the Arizona Fall League Championship. And uh, we're going to make this a quick show because of the, of the breaking news and things going on. So, uh, but we want to end with this. Uh, Frank Howard, nicknamed Hondo's towering six foot seven presence as a slugging outfielder, first baseman was followed by a coaching career, including stops in Queens and the Bronx, died Monday, last Monday, due to complications from a stroke. According to the Washington Post, he was 87 years old. He managed uh, the Mets in uh, 1980. <coughs> Excuse me. He uh, managed the Mets in 1983 for 116 games. And uh, had a coach as had a stint as a Yankees coach, as well as stopped with the Rays as a coach and the Padres as a manager in 1981. So Frank Howard uh, passes away at the age of 87. Former major leaguer and met Rob Gardner passed away. Uh, he was 78 years old. He was a left-handed pitcher who played in the majors from 65 to 73, bouncing around the league as a frequently traded journeyman. His career began as a starter with the Mets in 1965. He created a memorable piece of baseball trivia in his final start of that season, taking the ball for the Mets game against the Phillies on October 2nd. He tossed 15 shutout innings, an unfathomable unfathomable account or accomplishment in today's game as both clubs failed to score. It was eventually declared a zero zero draw after 18 innings. And uh, he became a swing man for the Mets in 1966, tossing 133 and two thirds inning with a 5.12 ERA, the largest major league workload of his career. He was traded to the Cubs for the 67th season and then the Cleveland for the campaign after that playing a limited role with both clubs. He was stuck in the minors for all of the 69 campaign, but was traded to the Yankees before the following season and closed out his career. So Randy Gardner, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, Rob Gardner 
uh, passes away at the age of 78. And our condolences go out to both the Howard and the Gardner family on their losses. So that's going to wrap it up. And as I said, it was a quick episode of Mets Musings, but uh, uh, just wanted to get that news out there. Great counsel to the Chicago Cubs and Carlos Mendoza looks like he's in as the Mets manager. So we'll have more as time goes on in this off season and more on Mets musing. So if you'd like to know about that, please hit the subscribe and the like button. If you're watching on YouTube uh, or if you're uh, on your podcast app, listening to the audio, just click on subscribe. So you'll get a notice whenever a new episode is released of Mets Music. So until next time, remember, keep the faith, stay optimistic, and let's go Mets. And I'll see you next time on another edition of Mets Musings.